Coffee grounds are meant to be like black gold for gardeners. You know, I hate to be the botanist that ruins everything for you, but it's just not true. There's this idea that they're filled with minerals and they bind onto water and therefore they're great to add into small plants. I know people that recommend going to lots and lots of different independent coffee shops with a big sack to get as many of them as you can. Before you do that, it's important to understand the basics of coffee biology. Now, pretty typical advice is that these spent coffee grounds are packed with water retaining fibers. They also contain loads of minerals. So chucking a big layer over small, delicate plants like this would be a really good idea. But what that leaves out is that these things, unsurprisingly, still contain quite a lot of caffeine and coffee plants produce caffeine partially as a herbicide. They concentrate it in their seeds, so it leaches out into surrounding soil, killing off competing seedlings. So adding these to this would really not be a good idea. If you were to add small amounts to a compost heap and leave them there for a very long time, and then add those under much larger trees and shrubs, there probably wouldn't be so much of a detrimental effect, but in terms of any benefit, they probably wouldn't be huge either. So if you want to nurture your young plants and seeds, just use any type of compost, really made from any plant, just not coffee.